To get started, we're going to select templates down at the bottom. There's lots of templates you can choose from, which is why I always recommend sketching it out on a piece of paper before you get started. I'm going to do a classroom poster that's kind of inspirational, like our mission vision. So I'm going to select this template here, and then I'm going to click Remix. You'll notice that you can change a lot of things. I'm going to start with the color palette. When you choose different colors, it'll actually adjust it all for you. And it's kind of nice because they've intentionally thought about different color combinations, what's going to look nice, and maybe what's easy to read. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. So click done when you're ready to pick that. You can also change the layout. This is helpful if you want to kind of break things apart or categorize them, or you want to add a different design aspect. I'm not going to change the layout this time. What I am going to do though, is I want to change this title. So when you click on text, you'll go to the edit where you can see color, font, shape, size, alignment, lots of different things. We're just going to start with editing the text. And I'm going to call this our classroom. And since this is kind of a title, I'm going to give it all uppercase. There, looks great. And then I want to change the shape of this. And from the shapes, you have lots of choices, like banners that go all the way left and right, circle shapes, rectangles, all sorts of designs that you can play with. For this one, I'm going to do a banner that goes all the way across. I'm also going to change the font. To maybe something that's, I don't know if you want to call it loud, something that's a little bigger. There, that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to resize it. I'm going to drag it to the top. Notice that when you get directly center or you align with other shapes, you'll get these little guidelines. That lets you know you're right in the middle. And so when you drag it, just kind of hover, holding it till you find that. That guideline pops up, and then you can release it. Awesome. Now let's add maybe our motto or our saying. So I'm going to click on that text, edit, and in this classroom we work hard, we have fun. I'm going to pick another font here. Maybe something a little more kid friendly. Let's pick a shape to go around it. I like that circle one there. Let's change the color up. See if there's anything that really pops out. Then I'm going to make this bigger. So it's easy to read. Throw that there in the middle. And then, since this is a poster and it's going to be displayed in the classroom, let's add another little text. Let's add our Instagram account. And we'll say at our classroom. Don't want to shape on this one. Let's try to change the font to something that's a little easier to read. There. If you go back to shapes, you'll notice that there are social media icons that you can use like YouTube channels, Twitter. We'll throw Instagram on there. And I'm going to put that in the middle. There you go. Now you have your classroom poster. When you're finished, you're just going to hit the share button at the top. It'll prepare it. And it's just going to share it as a regular image. So I can email it, save it to Drive. But then I can take it and print it out, either on the poster printer at school or take it somewhere local.